Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I went into Sephora yesterday and I picked up a couple of new items from Fenty Beauty that I really wanted to try out. I picked up the new Soft Matte Powder Foundation, a new um, Fenty Gloss Balm Cream, and then I also picked up the uh, Mini Lip Duo in Keychain Holder. So if you want to see my thoughts on these new items, then just keep watching. I know I look a little crazy right now, but that is just because I have only um, eyeshadow on my eyebrows and I have a little bit of concealer on because um, I'm wanting to test out the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Pro Filter Foundation. So I went in store and I got this yesterday um, and I really want to try it because I've never tried a powder foundation before. And this is what the packaging looks like. It's really cute. And then I picked up the shade 120 and it does have a mirror. And this is what the shade looks like and then if you flip it up it has a mirror and then it also comes with a little sponge so i have everything on i did watch one review on this foundation um and the i her name is makeup by trains i think her name is katrina um i'll have her channel linked down below but she actually put her concealer on first because she didn't want to put it over her foundation um which i thought was a good idea because i've never tried a powder foundation before so I was just I just wanted to watch at least one video um, and I saw that she came out with a video um, reviewing this foundation so I watched it before I am filming this now um, just so I can have an idea because I've never tried a powder foundation before so I do have concealer on but I don't have anything else on so I'm just gonna go in with the sponge hopefully this is a good shape match and I think some people um, have been doing like a padding motion on it. Oh yeah, that is a really nice shade match. I think this looks really nice right now. I only have it on this um, side of my face. I think it looks really nice. It's almost just like a matte, like looks like a matte foundation. So I went in with the foundation on half of this. I don't really know if you can even tell. I think it just looks a little bit more matte on this side, but I think the shade matches really well. I don't even think you can really tell that I have anything on. But um, I did use the sponge on this side of the face. I think I wanna go in with a brush just to kind of see how that applies. That is what that side looks like with a brush. So this side is with the brush and this side is with the um, sponge. I'm not sure which side I like better. I think I kind of like this side a little bit better. I think it looks a little bit more airbrushed, but I do really like both sides. I'll probably use the sponge too, but I think I just like the way it looks on this side just a little bit better. I think the foundation shade matches me really nicely. I, it's like I'm not even wearing any foundation. Now I do have some smile lines, so I'm interested to see on um, if it sinks in. It kind of is already sinking in to this um, line. And then on my forehead, I do have some fine lines, but they're not sinking in on those. But I guess we'll see how this wears. I'm not gonna do a wear test or anything, but I will let you guys know um, in the description box after I've been wearing it for a couple hours, what I think about it. So far, I really like it. It's a little bit dry, so I would definitely recommend really moisturizing and using a moisturizing um, primer with it. Um, so that is what that looks like. I'm going to do um, the rest of my makeup off camera really quick. I'm just going to go in with um, the Milani bronzer and I wanted to try um, one of her um, cream, one of Fenty Beauty's cream blushes. As you can see, I use this one a lot. Um, I wanted to try one of her cream blushes on top of this to see if it worked. And then I'm just going to go in with the um, Kaleido Star Surfer highlighter. So I'm going to do that um, really quickly off camera. I'm just going to kind of fast forward um, and still show you guys. But those are the products that I am using. Thank you. 
So this is what my face is looking like. The cream blush did not move my foundation at all. It layered on really nicely, as well as the highlighter and bronzer. But I think it was a good idea for me to do my concealer first and then set that with powder and then just go around on my face. Um, I will say it's not like a full coverage foundation. It's more so of a medium coverage, which is fine because I don't really like a full coverage. Um, but this is what everything looks like. I am going to set my face just to see how that works. I'm going in with the Tarte Maracuja Miracle Mist. So here is what the gloss balm in the shade Fenty Glow looks like. It's a really nice like mo a move. <laughs> mauve nude <laughs> color. I'm going in without a lip liner just to show you guys the color. Oh. Mm, I really like this color and it's way more smooth. It's way more smooth than the um, original gloss bombs that actually have like shimmer in them. And it smells different. I think I like the smell. I think I like the smell of these a lot better. And I really like this. Ooh, they make my lips look really shiny and juicy i really like this this is what the shade fenty glow looks like i really like this lip formula i am going to take this off though because i do want a lip liner on it i'm going to go in with the ColourPop good and plenty lip liner so i'm just going to take this off i just wanted to show you guys what it looked like without a lip liner um but probably with these i'd recommend a lip liner just so it lasts a little bit longer i also wanted to show you that i got the um, Lil Gloss Bombs Mini Lip Duo and Keychain Holder. If you don't think that I'm not gonna have a Fenty uh, Gloss Bomb Keychain, then you don't know, Mary, know me very well. And this has um, the shade Fenty Glow and a brand new shade called Pink Dragonfly. So it comes with a little um, keychain holder. This is what the keychain holder looks like. It has Fenty Beauty on the side and then it has the little keychain. I think this is so cute. And then let me pop out, whoops. Let me pop out the two shades. So this is what Fenty Glow looks like, which is their original very first gloss bomb. I do have a full size of this, but I'm probably like three fourths of the way done with it. So that's why I'm gonna keep this one. This is like a nude, nude pinky color. So that's what Fenty Glow looks like. So I'll actually do a comparison. This is what Fenty Glow Cream looks like. And then this is what Fenty Glow, the original one looks like. And then I'll do a swatch of those next to each other after I do the swatch of Pink Dragonfly. Ooh, this is probably my favorite gloss bomb shade. This is like a pinky, almost red. Oh, it doesn't really look pink in. I don't know how to show you. It looks pink, um, like a pinky red with some gold um, glitter in it. So that's, there, that's a good, I don't know why it looks like that in the, component but this is what um pink dragonfly looks like i really like that shade let me do a swatch of the fenty cream in fenty glow next to the original one so this is the fenty glow cream and then this is the original fenty glow and then this is pink dragonfly i I'm really into this shade that I'm wearing right now. And then I really love this shade. I'm probably going to wear this a lot. Hopefully they come out with a full size of that. Um, cause I'll definitely be wearing, um, wearing that, but let me put this on. I believe it's supposed to go on. Yes. It's supposed to go on the bottom like this, and then you can just twist it off like that. And then it's just like a little keychain. I'm going to be walking around with this everywhere. <laughs> I did feel like I needed to set my face again because it was just looking a little dry, but that's probably because I didn't put like a moisturizing primer on um, before I did this. But so far it's looking really good. I really like how my skin is looking. It's like 
I like I don't feel like I'm wearing foundation and it doesn't feel like it like on my skin and then when I touch my face it doesn't feel like it so I'm wondering if it's going to be transfer proof or not um when I wear a mask but so far so good I'll definitely keep you guys updated um on how this foundation works out for me um and then the Fenty um cream in Fenty Glow I really like this um I can't wait to get the fruit snacks one. I'm really excited for that because it's like a deeper red color. I think that would look really pretty, but I really like this so far. Um, and then the little keychain holder set is so cute. I really like this shade. I'm not sure why it's not picking up like the pink like swatch. Maybe if I turn my... Mm, that's a little too dark. Maybe if I turn it up more. I don't know. I don't know why it looks like that, but you saw a swatch on my hand. It's like a pinky red with some gold glitter in it. That is it for today's video. I'm really excited. I have a new series coming on my channel um, in the next couple of weeks as I film them. I'm really excited about that and I will also be doing a makeup collection video and probably declutter. Um, I do have some packages coming in so I'm just kind of waiting for those um, but hopefully you guys are excited as I am and that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you hit the notification bell and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.